and you like Europe right now. Why? Well, at the present time, I think that Europe has had a very good move from the lows. It outperformed the U.S., and I would be a little bit careful to buy stocks indiscriminately at the present time because everything has moved up significantly. There's a lot of bullish sentiment. But in general, I like uh, selected European companies because their business is international and their exposure to Europe is not all that large. Maybe 40, 50 percent of their total sales are in Europe and the rest is uh, overseas. What types of companies in Europe do you like? Which sectors? Well, I mentioned a few times that I owned telecom companies and uh, some utilities, and I also own some Swiss shares, blue chip companies in Switzerland. I want to talk about where you see a bubble right now, and uh, you called it a colossal <laughs> bubble in the high-end sector. Can you explain this? Because you had some very colorful language when you were talking about your run-in with uh, a Louis Vuitton salesperson at a store one time. Well, I, I think I see a bubble in everything that relates to the financial sector. We have a bubble in bonds, we have a bubble in uh, low quality bonds, we have a bubble in equities. If you look at the financial sector as a percentage of the global economy, it's very large. We have a huge debt bubble and it's only getting bigger, it's not getting any smaller. So we are the bubble. Everything that is in the financial sector is the bubble and it's been pumped up by central banks. Now within the big bubble, I think the high-end sector is probably a huge bubble. You know, pink diamonds and uh, the prestige art but, but and Mark, luxury. The, the, the luxury market's never been bigger globally. So you follow Asia and you follow these markets that ultimately are places that I, I think you are seeing a lot of growth. How can you say that these markets don't have a lot of room to go? It's the, China's the largest luxury market in the world. Yes, uh, there is an issue about the cost of selling the goods because the luxury chains, they have to lease very expensive shop space at airports, in prestige locations of the world's capitals and so forth. So their costs have gone up substantially. And it is true, the outlook is relatively favorable, but tastes may change and as you discussed before with Tesla, there's also something called competition. There are lots of new brands that are coming up and uh, that are taking market share away from the so established brands.